Hello, everybody. This is uh, Pastor Jones, in case you didn't recognize me. But uh, I did want you to know that uh, I am complying with the state's social uh, distancing mandates. Of course, there's nobody else uh, here in the church. Um, but uh, it's a good thing that uh, I still had some of these masks from when I was a ninja. Uh, anyway, uh, can you guess where I am? I know it looks like I'm at a funeral home and I'm sitting next to an open casket. That's what it looks like as I'm looking at the picture. But in fact, I am in the teen room and uh, just to, to find a quiet place. Uh, but anyhow, I wanted to, uh, to maybe share a little something with you today. Uh, as we go through these difficulties, oftentimes when we go through these prolonged trials, like we are really on a global scale, uh, the pressures that are associated with that trial, well, they have a tendency to wear us down, don't they? They have a tendency to weaken our spiritual enthusiasm, uh, really to weaken our resolve to walk in the Spirit. And these things really can have an effect upon our faith day by day. Uh, so what is it we need? Uh, now, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be profound. Uh, when we are weak, what we need is, are you ready for this? What we need is strength. Isn't that deep? When we are weak, what we need is strength. Well, I just want to remind you today of a few verses, uh, but I want to remind you of the words of Nehemiah in Nehemiah chapter 8 in verse 10. Specifically, the last phrase of Nehemiah 8.10 uh, declares this. It says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, that's often awesome. Uh, we need strength as we go through uh, these things, right? Now, that, that Hebrew word that's translated strength at the end of that verse uh, is referring to a fortified place, a defended fortress, a place where you can rest in security, even though that you are surrounded by adversity and affliction. That's what the joy of the Lord can provide for us. Well, what is the joy of the Lord specifically? Well, uh, it actually is a supernatural joy that comes from us focusing upon the greatness of God, the glory of God, his characteristics, his attributes, focusing upon them from a biblical perspective and then uh, focusing on the benefits that you have as a believer because of your relationship with him. Those things bring about great joy. That awareness brings about a great strength. And really, if you're a believer in Christ, of course, uh, that joy is a fruit of the Spirit. Uh, when you got saved, you were indwelt with the Holy Spirit of God. And one of the things that, uh, that he provides supernaturally is this joy. Well, you may ask, if, uh, if this is supposed to be a fruit of the indwelling spirit of God, uh, well, why am I still struggling with some of these circumstances? Why, uh, why do I find it difficult to, to really rejoice during these times? Uh, well, frankly, uh, for the spirit to work his fruit in the life of a believer, that believer has got to walk in the spirit, right? Um, I, I understand that tough circumstances have a, have a way of distracting our walk. Uh, oftentimes when we uh, are faced with these difficulties, we want to lean on our own understanding. We want to go in ourselves to try to resolve the circumstance. And, and uh, uh, our own understanding is usually based upon our feelings or our fleshly inclinations. Well, what do we do then to regain the strength that we need to keep on keeping on for the Lord? Well, instead of focusing on our circumstances, where ought we to focus? We need to first of all recognize that God is in control of those circumstances, right? But then we need to willfully refocus our mind, our heart upon the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the writer of Hebrews was talking about, uh, really in Hebrews chapter 12, the first three verses, but especially verse three, where he tells his readers, consider him, referring to Jesus Christ, consider him who endured such contradictions against himself such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your mind. 
So this is, uh, this is a means for us not to grow weary in our minds, uh, not to faint in our minds by considering him. And so uh, what he's telling us is get our focus back on the Lord Jesus Christ. And then I would say this, that we pray like David did in Psalm chapter 51 and verse 12, uh, where David prayed, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Uh, it's just praying, Lord, I'm weak. Being honest with the, with the Lord, God, I'm weak. I'm not focused. Uh, I'm struggling with these circumstances. Help me to look unto Jesus and restore unto me that joy that was given to me when I first got saved. And you can count on this by faith, that God will answer your prayers. May the, Lord, may the joy of the Lord be your strength. As you deal with the circumstances in your life, he's faithful. Amen? Have a wonderful day.